Now I'm going to show how I make soft plastic baits. I've already got my plastic warmed up here. Um, each thickness of the plastic, uh, each thickness of the plastic heats up differently, but you want it around 350 degrees roughly. This is the paddle tail, a little two inch crappie bait. I hold down, I've got grooves in here in the rod so that I can see it moving. The plastic, when it cools, it shrinks. So when the bait shrinks, it sucks the plastic down. And if there's no plastic to suck, it gets a big dent in it. And those you can generally just melt back down and start over with. I try very hard not to sell anything that isn't 100%. That one might not have poured the um, plunger here, the injector. As you can see, the plastic's already set up, like I can touch it. But it's hot down inside there, and it sets up fast enough that it makes this big clump of plastic. Back it back in together. Let me show you what it looks like. So that's the inside of the mold. That's the what it looks like when you pour them out of there. Lay them out, let them cool a little. I could probably take those fishing in, oh, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes. They'd be fully formed. This is the mold for the two inch crappie squirt. It makes a bunch of them at a time. Give it a good clamp so that when you push the plastic down in, it doesn't shoot out all over the place. This is my design. I wish I wouldn't have had both sizes on the same mold, but what are you going to do? Put the plastic in, heat it back up just for 30 seconds. Put my glove back on. Took a long time to realize that that plastic's hot when it comes out of there. And I have burnt myself so many times that it's not even a thing anymore. I found a nice set of gloves online on Amazon. Maybe I think they're for, for cooking. Um, they're either side, left or right. So I give it a stir just to get any of the little clumps that might have not melted back to liquid. And then you've got salt and I've got 
glitter in there that I want to equally spread. You can feel the plunger moving in your hands as it's cooling. I put my finger against it and I can feel it moving. These little ones don't move a lot. They, they tend to set up fairly quick. But the larger reservoir you have before the bait, um, so this thing here, this large area, that's molten, hot. And it actually sucks into the into the baits. So then the plastic. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's still pretty warm there, but not so bad I can't touch it. Um, in the glass is smooth enough that the plastic, once it sets up, it releases right from it. I made a mistake of playing around with some powder paint for painting jigs, and that powder is so porous that I can't get it out of my container now. It holds the glass so well do that one I have to just just pour it out of that Pyrex it's the two inch morph and the inch and a half inch inch and a half morph squirt and two inch paddle tail and green pumpkin I'll do another video later of the color uh, how you make the plastic and we'll go from there